with yo You know I'm alive What is going on you guys? It's your boy Ferg here and we're back again with another Call of Duty Mobile video and in today's video we're actually going to be covering a topic that I have been requested so many times in the past I would say one to two months since my last settings video. Now I'm going to be showing you guys all of my settings in today's video plus some settings that maybe people have no idea even exist because they were only brought into the game after its release and then of course after that I'll show you probably like a ranked game or something like a really good game but either way without any further ado make sure to like the video comment down below what you think of these settings and what settings you use subscribe if you guys are new and enter that giveaway and let's get right into the settings video so straight off the bat, we'll talk about controls. My controls are interesting because my controls are all over the place. I only use one shoot button. I don't use the second shoot button. As you can see, the second shoot button's right up here at the top of the screen, but I don't actually use it at all. So we're just gonna leave that opacity down to the lowest. But as you can see, that's the basic gist of my settings. Like they're all over the place. It really is comfortable for me to use these settings. I mean, you guys know, or maybe you don't know that I actually use six fingers when I'm playing Call of Duty Mobile. And this is the best six finger layout that I came up with myself and I actually really enjoy using it. I have no complaints about this layout thus far. I mean, I've used it basically since the game was released. So I'll go ahead and turn down these opacity settings for these buttons and then we'll go straight into the other settings like the basic settings. And then after that, we'll go into the sensitivity settings as well. So looking into the basic settings, you guys know that I mostly only play multiplayer mode, but I'll show you guys my battle royale mode settings as well, because I have been playing battle royale a little bit here and there. As you can see, quick run from prone is on. Joystick auto sprints on fixed R fire BTN. I'm actually not sure what that is. I think it's the fixed right fire button so it doesn't move around a lot. But I've got that on. Fixed joystick is off because sometimes you miss your joystick. And if you miss it, that's good because you can still go the same way that you wanted to do, as even if your finger is a little bit further up the screen, which I feel like a lot of people have fixed joystick on, and I think that's probably not what you want to do because it means if you miss your joystick by any millimeters or anything at all, it means you won't even move anyway. Like you might as well just have it off. So that way you can move your finger around the screen and it doesn't need to be exactly on top of your joystick location Fixed virtual joystick. I have that off as well And then right fire button for fixed perspective. I have that off too I'm a tap to ADS player because I use so many fingers That's what I use got tap to ADS on but you'll see somewhere down in the video that there is a setting where I do have a um, I think I believe it's tap and hold to ADS display left fire button I should honestly probably take that off but it's on just in case I want to go for no scopes Of course with the snipers and stuff always spray I don't have it on, but I do have the 65 sensitivity for sprinting. And then for gyroscope, I have it off. You guys know that I don't actually hold my iPad while I'm playing. So I have it off. I don't really need it. And then I changed my camera FOV to 75. I previously had it to 51 to make it easier for people to watch my gameplay and stuff. But nowadays I keep it on the highest because I can just see more while I'm actually playing. Reset weapon aim, I have that off. I basically just like to have my own weapon aim. I really don't like to have things that control my character. I like to be able to control as much of my character character as I can. Of course, here are the BR settings as well. Like I said, I don't play BR that much, but over the course of the last week and the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be playing it a little bit more to get that brand new skin. Basically the same settings, to be honest. And um, the camera FOV is only 60 on this. I'm not sure how impactful a camera FOV is on Battle Royale, but I guess after I start playing it heavily, I'll let you guys know in a future video. Also, here are the graphics settings that I do use. We have a uh, medium graphics quality and then high frame rate. The reason why I don't use high or very very high graphics quality. It's just because my iPad is coming up on three years old now and I don't really want to put it up too high or very high because it actually makes my battery die faster when I'm on stream and also it's a little bit laggy for my device. So I don't put it up to high or very high and either way man, see when you're on medium, it feels great. It looks great. It feels great. The game is great anyway on the medium graphics setting. So I have no complaints about playing on medium graphics to be honest. I love it. If there's any reason that you feel like you're lagging on very high or high, like just switch it to medium and it will help you out like straight away if you just use the medium graphic setting but yeah just use the medium graphic if you're lagging on high or very high um graphics because then i mean you'll not lag anymore just like me and i feel like a lot of people really don't turn their graphics down and they probably need to depending on what device they're using but also depth of field i have that off ragdoll off it doesn't even give me the option to use these i guess it's because i'm on a lower graphic setting then i've got realistic graphics and stuff like that but over to sensitivity i use fixed speed if you're not using fixed speed you're probably doing something wrong i mean any kind of acceleration on your 
your player is going to be bad because what acceleration does it just accelerates your movement speed as you are using your buttons so for example if you have fixed speed on no matter what every millimeter of your screen it will go the same distance if you have acceleration or speed acceleration or distance acceleration for example distance is the further you move your finger the faster it will go and speed acceleration is the faster you move your finger the faster it will go but it's accelerated to like a 1.25 1.5 times as quick as fixed speed fixed speed gives you a universal speed for each millimeter on your screen which means it's easier to use your guns and easier to understand how much recoil you need to drag down by or how fast you need to flick onto your opponent whereas distance and speed it's pretty random if you're using distance or speed check your settings right now this is something that you definitely need to be taking off you definitely need to be using fixed speed and it's just one of those settings that I feel like a lot of people don't actually know about even though I've talked about it before a lot of times people just don't understand how useful fixed speed is compared to distance and speed acceleration sensitivity switch it's switched while opening ADS see this one's honestly people always say switch after ADS ends but it doesn't make a difference to me because as soon as I scope in I want to be locking onto the targets for the most part I like switch while opening ADS rather than switching while the animation ends I know a lot of people love the uh, switching while animation ends but why not change it as you're scoping in so that as you're scoping in you can drag through your ADS animation as you're trying to kill the target I don't know I don't understand why so many people feel like the ADS after animation ends is the correct one but I guess this for me it's it's personal preference I'll try and use the after the animation ends maybe in a couple of videos and stuff like that and see what I think but I like switching as soon as I've scoped in an ADS that's my favorite option and then my sensitivity presets are just custom here's all my camera sensitivity and my ADS sensitivity firing sensitivity as well as you can see on screen right now my ADS sensitivity is actually higher than my standard sensitivity in case anyone was wondering I guess that's why I like having it open and switch while it's opening because it means I can switch I can lock on faster as I'm aiming down the site as you can see the firing sensitivity as well ADS is 88 standard sensitivity is 70 and then gyroscope I really don't use gyroscope sensitivity so you shouldn't copy my gyro sensitivity at all it's just random I literally have never touched gyroscope sensitivity at all but there's all of my leftover sensitivities for you guys if you want to screenshot those and copy those. BR, I'll go down really quickly as well, in case any of you guys want to copy them. Remember, I don't really play BR that much, so keep that in mind while we are looking at these. They're all good though. And yeah, I guess that wraps up today's sensitivity video. I showed you guys all of my sensitivities except BR settings, but to be honest, my BR settings, you're probably not gonna wanna copy those, but uh, I'll show you them anyway. Here is my BR settings for you guys, but that's gonna wrap up this portion of the video. I'll show you guys a short gameplay of me playing ranked or something like that after this. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below what you think of these brand new settings. And a couple of the hitting ones would be the fixed speed. And obviously we covered the tap to ADS I use, but when I'm using sniper, I use hold to ADS to snipe. It's just the best way, honestly. It's just the best thing to do. It's the easiest way to snipe in this game for sure. But either way, make sure to subscribe if you guys are new to enter the giveaway. Comment within the first hour of a video and enjoy the gameplay. Or right, I'll play. Oh, we can. Yeah, he's got the same map as me. Because he's Indian. Yo, we can play, dude. Time to hop on. I'll 1v1 him. <laughs> Imagine my first 1v1 was versus Mortal. That would be crazy. That would be crazy, dude. Capture. Nice, teammate. UAV recon ready for deployment. I'm so dead, dude. I'm so dead, dude. I can't even go anywhere because the ladder's in the way. Feels bad. I just stole your kill so hard. I'm not even apologetic about it, bro. You're... You guys so weak. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm one shot. Fly me to the moon. What? Brother, if I had killed myself right there, there was gonna be problems, dude. No! That would have been my kill. Bruh, somebody kill this guy on my team. Somebody take him out already. Dude! Dude! Bro, I'm gonna get another assist. Are you si- Bro! Are you actually- Are you serious?! 
brother, it's a GG at this point. I'm calling it in. I give up. Give me all the kills. All the kills belong to me. D D D D D D D D D D D D Die please! Die please! Thank you! Damn, my guy should be dead. Die please! Oh, hello Flacco. What's up, brother? <laughs> Keep fighting. Keep on them. We're winning this one. Ooh, baby. I'm dead. I'm goaded. Oh, the AK. Hello. Ah, finally. A goaded gun. <laughs> GG's. What? I didn't even- Dude, when did that transform shield spawn? That transform shield was not there, dude. There was absolutely no chance they had a transform shield down right there. I, there's zero chance that that was there.